All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and Alex Jones has joined us once more to weigh in on the Sotomayor. There is no Second Amendment, apparently. You don't have the right to a gun, and we're going to have to get the full text. We're going to have to get this book, Deadly Obsession, American Gun Culture. Please, audience, help us out. Get us this book ASAP. Alex? Yeah, Jason, this is, you know, I'm sitting here with my family listening to you, and, and wild horses can't drag me away because I realize how much ball dropping I do. And this is what the listeners and their tips and their calls and their emails, and I'm going to get off quick some dead calls, speaking of that. And that's why it's so important. That's why we need listeners. I want to create something like news tips at Infowars.com or story submissions or stories at Infowars.com and have maybe a section of hot-breaking news that is listener articles and listener feedback. I see so much well-prepared analysis and information in Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com as comments mixed in with all the profanity and insanity that comes along with the First Amendment. People complain about that, but we try to leave it as free and wild west as possible. I want listeners who want to write articles, write comments, write research papers, some of the incredible stuff we see at the PrisonPlanet.com forum, to start submitting that. Let's make the email right now. How about how about stories uh, at Infowars.com? Because it was last Saturday that I saw a comment on a story. And the reason I read them is because I get so much good info. And it was a link to a mainstream gun website. I forget which one. Shooter something. And it was quotes of her in newspapers and quotes of her in that book. It listed that book. And then I did some searching and found the actual stories. I found a few of them, but my printer was out of printing paper. So I ended up not covering on Sunday, and I wrote a note saying, cover this, and then I forgot. So I'm listening to you, and you bring it up. That's why we've got you down here, Burmas, because you're such a great news hound and, and are addicted to knowing more info like I am. So it's a perfect, you know, two peas in a pod. But, again, I find that's my frustration. There's hundreds and hundreds of things. I'd say 50% of the stuff I come across I don't cover on air because there's so much of it. This woman – is just like the attorney general who argued last year, you want the source, you know, Obama keeps saying there's no such thing, it's all a lie, I just want reasonable gun control. Well, reasonable means all of us turning our guns in. Obama as state senator and as U.S. senator, uh, Attorney General Eric Holder as deputy attorney general, and then last year arguing for the gun control groups. Before the Supreme Court in the D.C. gunman case, he said no citizens should be able to uh, own guns, he went on to say the same thing Sotomayor said. Obama said the same thing in his book uh, that he wrote that calls for the youth brigades. The White House chief of staff called for that. When he was a congressman, he tried to pass these bills. They have bills where they can ban you owning a gun without a judge, without a jury, without an indictment, without a charge, without an arrest. There is no doubt they are coming for your guns. They are coming for them now. And we've got to, I mean, this monster is part of a supremacist organization. Notice how only whites can be racist, so they call it reverse racism. No, this is tribalism. She's part of her tribal group. The globalists want a race pimp. They want to divide everybody. That's why they love her, because the globalists want to destroy U.S. sovereignty and want to try to make Hispanics racist, just like they want to make blacks racist and whites racist. All in the name of multiculturalism, it actually intensifies it and, and, and uh, increases it to divide and conquer. But the fact that she's part of a group whose slogan is for the race, everything, for those outside the race, nothing, uh, La Raza, that means the race, uh, on the board, that is nothing for the race group. Uh, the issue is she is openly a treasonous, larcenous worm who openly has declared war on the Second Amendment, and that's the argument that Obama Rahm Emanuel, Eric Holder, and her have all said they claim that the Second Amendment only means the military, and they argue that only the National Guard can be armed in the United States and their paramilitary enforcer police when the National Guard didn't exist until 1902, and when clearly the Founding Fathers, they had a, I had uh, Don Lott on, the professor, about this, they had that other professor out of Illinois, and, and, and Lott exposed him and got him fired. 
but we actually made the call for the investigation and got the ball rolling. I forget the professor's name. Five years ago, he wrote a book saying no one owned guns. The Founding Fathers were anti-gun. The Second Amendment actually took everybody's guns. He did fake research. We exposed it, and there was an investigation, and he lost his tenure thanks to uh, Professor Lott and others exposing him. So the issue is these criminal liars want your property, want your farm, want your ranch, want your business, want your kids, want to control your reproductive life, want one-child policies. These pus-sucking maggots of hell, this enemy of the republic, this swollen communist witch whore, wants to destroy our republic, and she needs to be seen for what she is, we must absolutely ensure that even if she does get confirmation, everyone knows the government is an abomination of evil and wickedness, and and they want our guns, and they are coming after our guns. And if you read the Supreme Court ruling, they said they can restrict our Second Amendment under law. So they're saying the Second Amendment is a right for them to send paramilitary officers to take our guns. This will start World War III in this country. We have got to avert this happening. I know most police are pro-Second Amendment. Then you need to speak out against the thug cops nationwide coming after the Second Amendment. But listen, I'm going to get out of here. I just, we need the listeners to not just write great 10 paragraph articles. I mean, some of this stuff's great minds, great thoughts, great quotes, literary geniuses. Ten times smarter than I am, and it's just all over the website, but not in one central place. I want these articles to be submitted. Uh, we can, all, you know, just lightly review them. Maybe have a disclaimer on the bottom that this is listener content articles, but just start posting almost all of it. I'm just not going to have any patriot slander or infighting, but anything else, you know, serious stuff. I want everybody to start exposing them because their crimes are so massive, so huge that we can't do it all. And again, I dropped the ball. Last week, I saw these quotes by her and confirmed them, and then literally forgot about it. And you know, kind of like you forget about a good restaurant or something. Well, I forgot about this important news to cover. Uh, so, so please help us expose this monster. Save the republic. There's no doubt they're making their move right now. Jason Burns. Absolutely. And you talk about, uh, you know, Obama coming out and saying we need preventative detention. And, oh, the Second Amendment's no good. And let's bring in the youth brigades. And we're going to have a National Civil Service Corps. And our national holiday is going to be on 9-11 where we have people in red jackets knocking on your door to ask you to pledge service. Red I mean, it's black uniforms in Burma. Here's the deal. They're actually doing military marching on these videos. It's actually happening. Hey, get the calls, brother. I'll talk to you soon. All right. God bless you, Alex. I'll talk to you.